Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a great project for you today. I can hardly wait to tell you about it. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? Now if this looks familiar to you at all, it's because a while back I did a snail trail quilt and that's what this block is called. And then a gal came to see me and she said, I have this great new way uh, to make a snail trail. And so this is like the even easy, easy, easier snail trail. And every once in a while we come across something like this and it's like, I've got to show you, I've just got to show you. So thank you to Kathy for bringing this to our attention because this is a really cool method. So to make this quilt, what we used was two packs of five inch squares and we used Mrs. Miller's Apprentice by Pam Buda for Marcus Fabrics. This background fabric right here, so the sashing and this whole first inner border is just one yard. Uh, then for your outer border, you're gonna need a yard and a quarter because we put a nice big six inch border on here. Uh, the backing, let's see, we need three and a half yards for the backing and it's just a really cute little back. So let me show you how to make this because this is super easy and super fun. And I love the idea that you can use any size square you want to make this block. So we're using fives, but literally you can use any size. So keep that in mind while we're doing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out four um, squares and we're gonna lay out four of our blue squares first. So one, two, and they don't have to be matching, they can be scrappy. And I'm gonna get four different ones. So one, two, three, four right here. No, nope, let's do something else right there. Sometimes you just gotta go with something else. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay four background squares on top of them. Now we have used in this pack of this Mrs. Miller's fabric, um, we have used the lights and the darks in the pack. So if you want your a solid background, you can do that. Ours looks real scrappy because we used the lights and the darks in the pack. All right, so, oh, I like them all different. Let me change this one out. One more here. Oh, here's a good one. All right, so now we have four blue squares and four background squares. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to set one aside and not cut that one. Then what we're gonna do with these other ones is we're gonna take our little two and a half ruler and we're gonna put them corner to corner. And on two sets of them, make sure they're lined up really well. On two sets, we're going to just cut them corner to corner. So this one, and I'm just gonna turn it like here so you can see that I've cut it. And this one, and just one cut. Oops, that guy wants to get away from me. There we go. And then here's this one like that. Now this third one right here, we're gonna cut twice. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut it from this corner and this corner. And when you get done with these, these uh, eight squares, you're gonna have two blocks, so this is really cool. So I'm just gonna leave this here so you can see this, that I've cut these two this way and these two this way. Now this one that we left whole, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put this right sides together like this and we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch down the side because we're making a four patch for the center of our block. So we're gonna sew just on the sides right here. You know what, I'm gonna press this so this lays a little bit flatter. It's got a little bit of a, little bit of craziness going on there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to sew down both sides. All right, so I'm gonna sew down both sides. Uh, so I'm just going to cut it and flip the squares around and sew down here. All right. Now what we're going to do with this one is we're just going to take our ruler and lay it along the edge because we're going to cut it right in half. And this is two and a half. And we're going to press these open. Like this, one and two. just like that. And then we're gonna lay these right on top of each other. So I'm gonna put this one here and this one here and I'm putting them opposite colors. So the, the light to the dark and the dark to the light, just like this. Match up that center seam and we're gonna sew the sides again. All right, so make sure this is lined up, nested right there in the middle. And then the same over here. And make sure that snugs right up next to there. All 
All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this again. So again, we lay our ruler right on the edge of our fabric and we're going to cut it open. And that's going to give us two four patches, just like that. So let me press these. I didn't do a very good job pressing that. It's kind of wonky. Let me see. Give it a steam. So now we've got these nice and pressed. We're going to come over here and I like to orient them with the light square up in the top right. And then we're going to go to our little cut pile right here and we're going to put on two sides like this. So just one square. Let me move this one over here. And we're going to put on these two sides. Now I like to just, I generally just eyeball this. It's about, you know, I don't know, a quarter of an inch sticking off each side. But if you want to make sure it's perfect, you just fold it in half and make a little crease right here. We're going to do that on both of these. And then this is going to go on the side. And you want to make sure that your, your background color is matching up with your background color. That's in, it's in the top left. So we're going to line this up on here and we're going to sew one to both sides. And I'm going to do this to both of our, um, both of our squares. All right, now we're going to flip it around and add that same square to the other side right here. And I'm going to notch my middle again. There we go. And one more. All right. All right, now we're going to press these open. This comes together so easy, you guys. And I love that you can use any size square. It's, that's such a fun thought to me. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna put our blue ones on either side like this. And you see what's happening here? So I'm gonna just work on one square from here on out, but know that for every one, uh, that you, for every time you cut these squares, you're gonna get two blocks. So I'm putting this on this side. All right, now I'm going to flip this around and add one to the other side. We're going to press this open. Let me get, grab this long thread there. There we go. All right, and now we're going to go to our bigger squares. And again, we're going to add our, our light. We keep our light to the top right corner. Put our light squares on first, like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press this little center place in here. And a little center place here. We're gonna add this to either side. And one more on the other side. We're going to iron it. And this is actually one of those blocks where um, I have a little ironing board that sits right along the side of my sewing machine. And I, I make a little nest for myself because you're ironing sewing, ironing sewing, and you just want that to happen all together. All right, so this one's going to go on this side. And then this dark one will also go on the other side. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make a little crease on this to make sure I line it up in the middle. There we go. All right, now we're going to press this. And just like that, your little block is done. 
And just like that, you get this cute little block. Look at that, isn't that cute? So just to recap on that second block, you're starting with your lights, you know, your light corner up in the corner and you put your, those sides on. We're gonna turn it, we're gonna add these lights to this, are these darks to the side? Once those get on, again, always keep, I always like to keep my light in the top uh, right corner and then your lights go on there like this and then your darks go here like this. And so out of the two block out of the out of the squares that we cut, you get two blocks. And I love that idea. I just love how that goes together. It's so quick and easy. And um and let me show you how this fits into the quilt. Because we set them a little differently. We set them so that all the light squares come into the center. So here's how that works. This is going to go in here like this. And then we sashed them. So the key on the sashing is what size is your block? What size square did you begin with? So ours is, um, let's see. So we're gonna cut our little sashing strip at eight and a half. And, um, and then we're gonna put a sashing strip in between each block. So let me cut one that at eight and a half. So let me count this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. And again, I use the sashing. I use some strips from yardage for my sashing, your background yardage. So that's gonna go here in between. And it's gonna go in between every block. So I have some more blocks over here, like this. Oh, there you go, color down. And then, and then when we're ready to add our second row, again, your, blast, your, your sashing strip is gonna be the same size, eight and a half, and then your little square, which we also cut these out of leftover charms, is gonna go in the middle there, and then you just keep sashing along. So let's look at the quilt. So we've got our row here, our four blocks, with a sashing in between each one. Then we took the same size sashing, it's the same size as your block, and put a cornerstone, sashing, cornerstone, sashing, cornerstone. The reason I like the cornerstones is because it's way easier to line up when you have a seam to measure to. And so it just makes a darling little quilt, makes it really fast. This quilt measures 53 by 63, so it's a great little size. But can you imagine how easy it is to just make this so much bigger? You just, you know, add more quilts. We only use two packs of charms. So that's really fun to me. So we're, we I didn't want to call this Snail Trail because we already have one called Snail Trail. So guess what? I'm calling it Happy Trails because it's so much easier to do. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Happy Trails Snail Trail block from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.